again with another way to turn in an assignment in its learning. Um, let's say you have an image of something you would like to include in your assignment. Um, you'll be using this button, the insert image button. So I'm going to go along with the idea that your six word memoir project might have been created in um, Google Slides. Maybe you knew this, maybe you didn't, but it's possible to download um, a single slide as a JPEG or an image file. So if I click File and then Download and JPEG image, so it says current slide. I could also use a PNG image, which is um, also obviously an image slide. I mean, an image file, but it's of a higher resolution. It's a larger file. So for our purposes, we're going to use the JPEG image. And it downloads to my downloads folder, which would appear on your Chromebook or any other um, computer. I happen to be using a Windows computer today, so it might look a little different in its learning in terms of browsing to the file, but it's the same idea. So I'm going to choose the insert image file now that I've downloaded it. Click image. And this little box appears. This is your files. It tells me I have a folder called your files, your web files, and I can upload an insert, insert an image URL that's from the internet, right? Or I can create a new folder. And in this box, I already have an images file or an images folder. So I'm going to open that. And I would like to upload and insert my image to this folder. So I'm going to click that. And now I can click choose file and remember i said it was going to my downloads folder so i've got to go over here to downloads oh and because i'm doing this recently it's the most recent um, image i've inserted or downloaded so here it is airhugs.jpg that's my image file so i'll click open and now the image file name appears right next to the choose file box or um button now when i scroll down a little bit I have some more um, options. I can choose to not wrap the text. That means the image will appear like on the next line. Or I can say I want my image on the left or the image on the right, and then the words will appear beside it, either to the right or to the left. Um, here I can select to put a border around my image. That's a very good recommendation. You should always put a border around your image. And you should always include some alternative text. This is the text that would come up if um, the screen reader was reading um, the file to your teacher. They would come across this image and say, image of, and then you'd put some names in. So I'm going to write virtual hugs. And now I'll upload an insert. And it's going to put it in the folder in my files, and it will also place it right here in the assignment box for me. And you can see I have a little minimize, maximize button. I can resize that. And now all I need to do is pre press submit for my teacher. And here's the image of my work. 